Uh, we have started our annual farm sit out in the um, wheat belt in WA. Uh, the owners left yesterday and um, yeah, they've gone on a three week holiday. So we're just um, looking after their farm and give them a break so they can chill out for a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's, uh, it's lovely out here. We did the same farm last year. So it's a little bit uh, less nerve wracking knowing um, sort of where everything is and a bit of the lay of the land, um, who all the animals are and, um, and the jobs we have to do when we're here. Uh, the main job we do when we're here is feeding the sheep. So we've got to feed them uh, lupins. Uh, we do all the sheep once a week and they've got a big mob of lambs. Um, we do them twice a week. And then also looking after all the um, farm animals. We've got four chooks, uh, six dogs, and two cats. And that's about it. And then just doing a bit of maintenance around the house and mowing lawns, um, watering gardens, looking after the pool, that sort of stuff. So yeah, keeps us busy. I've just got to go um, let the chooks out. Uh, it's been windy here the last few days. That's all we've pretty much got is wind. And um, and it's not been super hot. I'm in, uh, in trackies at the moment. The wind is actually quite cool. There's the chooks. What's going on? Alright, you're free. Let me get my cup up. What have you been up to? You have a good sleep? Come on. Let's go. Oh, I better check for eggs. Otherwise, the, um, the owners were saying the crows have worked out how to get in here and get the eggs during the day. What are you doing? You're not coming out today. hide in the back here. Two eggs. Two. Nothing better than fresh farm eggs. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they don't crack. Uh, one thing I learnt from last year is to have the um, fire pod ready to roll. So filled that up yesterday and um, tested the petrol pump and made sure it was all full, ready to roll. This little baby saved a couple of tractors last year on the neighbor's farm when we um, they had a, uh, a hay baler catch a light and light the whole paddock up and nearly got to the bush. But um, yeah, most of the time while I'm here, I had just have the ute hooked up to it um, full time, just ready to roll because uh, yeah, it was uh, definitely an eye opener on how crazy shit gets pretty quick with this wind and uh, summer heat and obviously um, dry paddocks. The working dogs are up on the shed there. I'll let them out and uh, we've got a new dog in here. Come on. This is uh, Nera and Kelly. Hello. Hello. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, get him. Get him. Get him. Uh, Kelly was named after Kel from our last um, year here. And that's the young um, Nera. She was only a pup when we were last here and um, and they're best mates now. Come here. Here. Oi! And now they've run off to the dam. I'll go get them. What are you guys doing? Early morning swims. Come on. Oh, Kelly dogs are bad influence on um, Nera. 
Aren't you? You guys just run amok. Run amok. Good fun? Did you have a good swim? I don't think so. You're all wet. Hello. This is Kimmy. She's my best mate, aren't you? Aren't you? My best mate. Oh, there's a cat. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Best mates, eh? Best mate. Yeah, you got it. We would have been on this ridge, eh? Hey, got him. That's when you stick your head up. Push. Yeah. You get it shot off. That's right. Now, this morning I'm just out checking the lamb paddock, which we're in now. But yeah, just got a few that were stuck in this um, creek paddock here. And got them back into the main paddock. Just trying to work out how they got in there. There's about 20 or so stuck in there and they were right near the gate so I was able to push them back through. But yeah just having a look around. Um, got me trusty 22 there and um, this is the spot we shot uh, five foxes here the other night in this one paddock. But yeah just trying to figure out this fence, see if there's a tree over or something that's um, been letting the sheep get in here but yeah I'll do a scout around the perimeter have a bit of a look and um, and then go check the dam for water and dead sheep and all that sort of stuff we'll see how we go now yeah, this might be a spot something's been pushing through here anyway oh, I've got a bit of wood here be able to make a bit of a post. Oh, I'll bent it all up for now. Come back with a star picket and a um, post banger thingy and jam a star picket through there. Sort of secure that off. Oh, there's one that's on the wrong side. Let's see if I can grab this fella. Come on. Oh, yeah. 
There you go, mate. Oh, well, that's why they use dogs. Oh, it's a good workout. Oh, here would have been fox food in the next couple of days. Lucky he was pretty knackered. Oh. Anyway, I'll keep looking. We've got another sheep with its head stuck in the fence. I'll sort him out. All he needed was a little motivation. Sorted himself out. And I got a sheep on the other side of the paddock on the bush block side. <laughs> Let's see if I can run it down. It looks pretty energetic, this one. Let's see how we go. Got your running shoes on. Oh, no, he's already off. He's out of there. Here we go. Laying on him. <laughs> no deal. Yeah, well, fucking hell. Oh, he's over. Ah, this bloody tree. Looks like it's recently blown over. It's um, still green and starting to die, so I'll sort that out. Oh, I'll come back with a chainsaw. Sort him out. Oh. Anyway, one more sheep saved. I spotted a fox. He is in the dam right there. So I'm just going to load the 22 and see if I can get close. Uh, he was long gone. Um, I thought he might have been sitting just on the other side of that damn wall. So I didn't see him run off. But by the time I got there, he was up past the tree, way in the distance. He would already made it up there. He wasn't hanging around. And we seen two yesterday, middle of the day as well. So, still a few around. We cleaned up 11 on the weekend and um, you'd think you'd make it a dent on them. But, you know. came out to check on the sheep and um, I think we've got a tucker. <laughs> Poor buggers. Couple of days early. Uh, we had a hole in the fence down here the other day, uh, a little spot where they pushed over. So we fixed the fence and put a couple of them back in that escaped. So you're just checking the fence pretty much. You got these mates. Yeah, the owner's uh, got a little bit of a scrap heap up here. Always like looking at what farms have. Oh, there's an old seat off something. How's that thing there? Ah, oh, that's cool. Well, I'll see if I can have that. How good's that one? I'll ask the farmer if I can have it. I don't know what it's on. It'd make a um, cool seat for the shed. Dad's shed anyway. Old fuel tank. Something. Tractor. Oh, the willy willy. Oh. 
be a big snake in here for sure. How's this old rig? I don't know what it is, it's an old ute. I'll try and get to the front of it. Uh, it's nice. It's like a split windscreen. Don't know. Hot rodder's delight. Wow, look at that fender. That's so awesome. Oh, here's a thing. I don't know what that emblem is. Hard to tell. Unreal. Yeah, I don't know what this one is either. Six cylinder ute. Split windscreen. 37,000 miles. <laughs> it's all done. Oh, it's got a plate up here. Compliance plate. Still hard to read. There you go. Holden's body number 34. Model Chev Cab Series COM. That was just uh, sitting down here. Must have fallen off right there, I reckon. This I just pulled out of the grass. It's an old kid's trike of some sort. I've seen the uh, wheel and the little pedal thing hanging out. That is unreal. <laughs> Pretty cool. We'll keep checking on the sheep. Uh, I've got a few paddocks out the back we've got to go have a look at. And we've got to feed them in a couple of days. So every couple of days we just do the rounds of the whole farm. Oh, we found a sheep on the other side of the fence. So we're just going to open this gate in front of us, drive back up to the other side of him, and then I'm going to fly the drone and scare him back into this paddock. That's the plan anyway. All right, here we go. See if this works. Okay. <laughs> okay. We think it might have just jumped over the fence, but um, we're just gonna go check. Saved itself. Nice change for me because usually I'm the one in the passenger seat. Yeah. Got my little gate boy. Thanks. Get that gate, bitch. Oh no. Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> 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 